welcome to bsc statistics students in this lesson i explain cost of living index numbers definition and uh, important steps in the construction of the cost of living index numbers you see here what is the definition of cost of living index numbers the cost of living index numbers are designed to measure the average increase in the cost of the commodities consumed by a class of people that is we select a class of people and so that the cost of maintaining the same standard in a given year as compared in the base year we consider two time periods one is the base period and uh, cost of living is going to be compared with that particular period and uh, in a in another particular year what is the standard of cost of maintaining this one particular standard in a particular year based on uh, in a, another particular year that is called base period so uh, that is we are checking we are intended to uh, see the what are the effect of changes in the prices in different commodities different goods and services purchased by a particular class of people that is called the purchasing power of a particular class of people during a given year compared to some base year during a given year compared to some particular base year so this is what we calculate we uh, see the changes in the cost of uh, living of a group of people from one period to another period so that is nothing but calculation of cost of living index number that is the main purpose of calculating cost of living index number you see further the consumption habits of the people different will be differ in various class classes like uh, poor low income middle income rich which will be different from all the groups and even within the same class it different from it uh, region to region one particular region to another particular region even though the same group for the same low income group people one region to another region the habits will be different habits of the people will be different so the general price index numbers are usually fail to represent the changes in the price of commodities so that is the reason why if you consider general price index numbers last years are pashi or fisher etc the general price index numbers if we calculate then obviously it will not represent the changes of the prices of commodities purchased by some particular group of people whereas the cost of living index number or which are constructed separately for different classes of people in the various income group in income group levels our cost of living is also going to be calculated for agricultural where different categories that is agricultural laborers industrial workers government employees like various groups of people and various <coughs> for various kinds of uh, categories the class of cost of living index number is going to be calculated for different different geographical regions rural areas urban areas hill areas and uh, many other purposes for a particular group of people the cost of living index number is going to be calculated and which uh, indicates which reflects the changes so that is the reason why which are more important rather than calculating the simple price index numbers that is the one of the point and the change in the cost of living index number of an individual between two periods means change in the change in his money income which indicates he is advised to maintain the same standard of living of both the periods so if you consider the price the price is uh, the only one particular factor considered for calculating the cost of living index numbers but also there are many number of factors influential in the standard standards of living which are size of family age composition income occupation the place region etc there are many many factors also 
took place and uh, influenced uh, the cost of living index numbers, the standards of the cost of living index numbers. But these factors not taken into consideration of calculating cost of living index numbers. But these are not the factors are going to be considered in the <coughs> construction of cost of living index number. Hence, the cost of living index numbers cannot be interpreted as a measure of standard living, standard of living. So that is the reason why cost of living that cannot be expressed as uh, for everything the standards of living. If you represent the cost of living index number, it cannot be represented. So this is the reason that the cost of living index numbers are more appropriate termed as consumer price index or retail price index numbers. Right? This is what the some introduction of cost of living index numbers definition and introduction. Now I discuss uh, what are the main steps in the construction of cost of living index numbers. So there are some number of points, scope of coverage, family budget inquiry, selection of commodities, collection of retail prices and method of constructing cost of living index number based on a particular formula. So these are the five important points. <coughs> I discuss one by one. First one scope of coverage. The first step is to decide the select a group or a class of people for which the index number is to be constructed. For which particular group this or a class, class of people, group of people, this uh, index number, the cost of living index number is going to be constructed. That is very important. That is we have to decide. In the first step, the scope of coverage. The class of people means low income group people, middle income group people, or high income group people, or industrial workers, agricultural labor, government employees. For which community, for which particular class, which particular group, <coughs> the cost of living index numbers are going to be intended to calculate. And also, we have to choose a geographical region of the selected group of people which they are belonging to city or rural areas and villages, urban localities or industrial areas or hill areas etc. The region is also going to be decided for which particular region it is going to be calculated. So a class of people is selected in such a way that it should be from the homogeneous group with respect to income. <coughs> so, therefore, the main intention of calculating the cost of living index number which are having the same income, same income group of people, whether low income or high income or middle income or poor, but maybe you have to categorize and uh, uh, this kind of scope of this particular uh, inquiry of calculating the cost of living index number is going to be uh, taken first. Next one, second point, family budget inquiry. You see, after that, after selecting which region, which class of people regarding to some particular income, income group uh, and the selection of this, then you have to go for the family budget inquiry. The family budget inquiry which should uh, involve a reasonably adequate number of families and should be conducted in a normal period. We should consider some number of uh, adequate number of uh, families are to be considered, which are to be considered. The main objective of the inquiry is to determine the amount of an average family spends on different commodities of consumption. So, what is the main objective is in this particular family budget inquiry of calculating cost of living index number is nothing but on an average how much amount spent by a particular family that is very important of, of considering this particular family budget inquiry. What is an average consumption? Average uh, uh, money spends on that particular uh, uh, budget. So that is very important. 
what are the commodities are going to be considered the various commodities of the family budget inquiry can be broadly classified in the following groups how do you consider uh, uh, the commodities which based on these particular groups food clothing fuel and lightning house rent miscellaneous etc each of the groups may be further may be subdivided into smaller groups no problem but exam for example uh, food may be subdivided into wheat rice pulses etc and miscellaneous may be subdivided into education medical care recreation gifts etc and uh, um, what you have to consider it is note that, that this list does not include non consumption money transactions such as payments of pf insurance premiums savings saving bonds etc we should not consider those non consumption money right so which particular which are going to be con consumed for a particular for purchasing some commodity which are only to be included remaining are not to be included in this particular family budget inquiry the next important point is the selection of commodities the selection of commodities is one of the another important point and uh, which is uh, mainly you have to concentrate the commodities which are used by the respective class for example low income group people we have considered we should not consider the items like cars refrigerators etc we should consider only the items those who they purchase the remaining items are not to be considered that is which are which the items which are not consumed by the respective group of people which are not to be considered that is very important it should represents the habits taste and customs of the group of people <clears throat> that's very important the which commodities which uh, uh, kind of items which are going to be purchased by the, res the respective group of people which are to be considered only which are only to be considered next one fourth point is collection of retail prices and then our important point is you have to collect the prices the collection of retail prices of various commodities is very difficult and time consuming the reason for this is retail prices vary from place to place and shop to shop and person to person therefore it it changes so uh, collection of the items is very important it is very difficult so what we have to do is uh, we have to collect from fair price shops and departmental stores and like super bazaars etc the prices price quotations or prices are going to be collected the data of prices which are to be collected from the uh, fair price shops departmental stores etc where exactly the respective group of people resides and purchase the commodities that's very important where the people are looking, uh, living and locating and living in that region only in that in that place only you have to consider you have to consider the you have to collect the prices from various departmental stores from various shops that's very very important right that is the fourth point and the fifth point method of constructing the cost of living index number so usually two particular methods you have one aggregate expenditure method two family budget inquiry method first one aggregate expenditure method so in this method we consider weights of the weights as quantities of various commodities consumed in the base year which are going to be considered as weights the cost of living index number formula is going to be expressed as last year's formula cost of living index number is equal to summation p i j q naught j divided by summation p naught j q naught j into 100 that is q naught j which is nothing but we have considered the 
base year quantities as weights as the weights in this particular method aggregate expenditure method the cost of living index number is going to be calculated in this year that is uh, av aggregate expenditure in current year divided by aggregate expenditure in the base year into 100 this is what the formula of cost of living index number in aggregate expenditure method this is lspr's formula now if you consider family budget method or family budget inquiry family budget inquiry method so this is family budget method in this method the cost of living index number is obtained by using the weighted average price relatives weighted average price relatives the weights are being considered as the quantities consumed in the base year again quantities consumed in the base year uh, the values of the quantities consumed consumed in the base year so arithmetic mean of the price relatives are going to be considered as the cost of living index number in this particular method so the cost of living index number is going to be calculated by summation j is equal to 1 to n wj pij by p not j divided by summation wj into 100 where wj is going to be considered here p not j and q not j weights in the uh, aggregate expenditure method it was considered as uh, q not j weights here q not j here weights are p not j and q not j the summation j is equal to 1 to n wj pj divided by summation wj so which is going to be if uh, pj is going to be considered as pj by p not j into 100 then this can be directly considered as summation wj pj by w summation wj it is nothing but cost of living index number formula so these are the uh, steps various uh, steps are important steps in the construction of cost of living index numbers so this is what uh, the definition and uh, the main steps in the construction of cost of living index numbers and what are the main important points of the in the construction of cost of living index numbers hope you understand thank you thank you so much